Welcome to Age Verification Pro. I'm going to show you in this video how to set up your restrictions so that you can restrict products. If you're using Juul products, that's a separate video and those are automatically restricted, okay? But any other products, I'm going to show you how to restrict those as well as some basic options and how to set up your scanner, okay? First thing you want to do is go to your inventory app or go to your inventory tab on your Clover web dashboard, okay? What you want to do is make sure that you've got your categories, all your items that you sell should be organized in categories. Okay, if they're not, you want to go to this categories tab right here. Click the categories tab, create a new category. Okay, in this, in this case, I'm going to call it, uh, let's say, restricted nicotine. Okay, you could call your categories anything you want. They're up to you for your business, but you want to have at least one category. Now, once you create a category, you can tap this pencil here at the top. And when you tap that pencil, it'll show you a list of all of the items that you sell in your Clover. And you can go through and pick which items are going to be part of this category. Okay. Now, if you don't want to go through and pick items one by one, because that can be pretty, um, you know, pretty cumbersome, you can just tap this box next to name and it'll pick all of the items for you. And then you can just unclick the items that don't apply. Okay. So either way, what you want to do is you just want to make sure that all of the items that are being restricted and then you tap save right here. Okay. So this is an example here. I made a category called restricted nicotine and I placed all the items in my store into this category called restricted nicotine, except for a few, which I unchecked. Now you may already have your category set up and you may already have all your items in there. So if you do, you can skip this step. But if you don't, go ahead and make sure you have your categories. Make as many as you want. You can make a restricted alcohol, restricted nicotine, or, or you can have different categories like your bourbons and your rums and beers and wines. You know, whatever way you set up your business, that's fine. But just make sure you have at least a category because the age, restrict, the age verification pro is going to let you restrict entire categories of items. So in the future, you can just add items to those categories and you don't have to bother with the app setting it up again. Okay. So once you're done with setting up your categories, you're going to go to the age verification app. And in this case here, I'm going to go ahead and just delete the existing restriction because I'm going to show you how to make a brand new one. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you could tap this get started button and it's going to tell you, Hey, just go ahead and tap on the setup button and tap age, uh, add age restriction. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. You tap the setup and you tap add age restriction. Okay. And it's going to remind you, Hey, you know, this is what we already talked about. Make sure you've added all your inventory and you've added all your inventory into categories. Okay. And then, um, you can always reach out help at appheaven.us if you need more help. Okay. So first thing you do is you pick the categories that are being restricted in this particular restriction. So in this case, we're going to restrict this category called restricted nicotine. You can also pick some other categories. See, they're all showing up here in this tan area here. Or you can use this backspace to undo that. Okay. So I'm only going to restrict one category in this restriction. Then you hit next. What do you want to say to the clerk? Please check ID. Okay. Or whatever you want to say there. Okay. Next. What's the age requirement? 21. Tap next. What do you want to call this? I'm going to call this one nicotine one. Okay. You can call it whatever you want. And then you tap save. Okay. See, so I've created a restriction that will restrict every item in this category called nicotine, a restrict in, called restricted nicotine, and it will require age 21, otherwise it won't let you sell that product. Okay, that's all you got to do to set it up. Now, there are other, you can click on setup and you'll see that there's also restriction options. You can tap that, it'll, it'll remind you that Juul products are automatically restricted if you have the right plan that includes a Juul EAC. Okay, but... You can decide if you want to do a visual override. That would be like if you have a lot of people in the store that you know by sight, then you can choose to um, basically to, to have a visual override button available. You can require expiration date. You can auto validate the order when it's verified. That saves you one button click. Uh, you can ignore all restrictions. It means just verifying the very first item, you know, regardless of any restriction or not. Um, so, and then you can add the note to the both the order and the item. So these are all the various options you can set up if you need to use these options for the actual verification. Okay. Now uh, let's go to the register and we're going to try to purchase a restricted item. Okay. So we tapped on the register 
and I'm going to choose restricted nicotine and let's say I buy an item that was in this restricted category and when I buy an item see it pops up a box it says please check ID my only option is to check the ID or to remove the item from the order there's an option that you could choose to be able to manually enter the ID but in this case it's required to enter it you can use a manager pin code so that I could manually enter it but otherwise it's just requiring to uh, to check the ID so now I'm going to scan my driver's license with the scanner and when you when you scan it you want to scan the back of the driver's license and you want to scan the big code in the middle you usually have to hide the code on the side of the driver's license because that's not the right code scan the big code in the middle with your with your scanner I'm going to do that right now okay and once the scanner processes that information it's going to display it and it's going to allow me to approve the order or just approve the item uh, if you only approve the item then every item you add to the order it's going to it's going to require a restriction on this is useful if you have a lot of miners all on the same ticket that are purchasing items or you can approve the entire order and then it won't ask you again for another restriction okay when you uh, when you approve then you'll see the birthday that was verified and the date and time it was verified and this is very useful because if you in the future if you have any problems in law enforcement you can actually go to your orders you can find the order and you'll see on the on the order note right there it'll give you the birth date and time date and time information as far as when the restriction occurred so that's your protection for law enforcement okay so now again dual EAC items are automatically restricted on the $9.99 a month plan that's discussed in a separate video we also have a separate video that goes into more detail in the age verification options uh, last thing is your scanner you know you do need to set up your scanner the way you need first thing you want to do is see if your scanner is already set up okay the way you know is if your scanner already works with your Clover device then you do not need to set it up again I'm going to repeat that if your scanner already works with your Clover device you do not need to set it up any further okay if your scanner works with your Clover device then try to scan the back of a driver's license okay again hide the code on the side only scan the big big uh, code in the middle okay if it scans then you don't need to do any setup of your scanner okay if it doesn't scan then it's probably because you only have a 1d scanner and you're going to need to purchase a 2d scanner from somewhere like Amazon uh, we support two scanners but really any 2d scanner that's a USB will probably work with your Clover uh, you do need to set it up and um, you know a lot of times what you need to do is set up the scanner so that it it's configured to send the enter key or new line or carriage return or line feed after the scan okay that's the key when you buy a scanner usually there's a code to scan that'll let you do it for the Honeywell MS7580 or the Zoom or Motorola DS9090 uh, 9208 or 9308 or even 9408 we we provide those scan codes for you okay but if you don't have one of those then you can do it yourself but you may not need to again try scanning your driver's license um, you know make sure you cover this the code on the side only scan the code in the middle if it scans even if you get gibberish that at least tells you that 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 scanner is already set up okay so please watch our other videos it'll give you all the other options that are available and again for dual EAC please make sure to upgrade to the 999 a month plan